Alright, so for the second tutorial, what we're going to do is use our magnetic lasso tool to get rid of all of the background of your image and just keep your figure. So, what you're going to do is select your magnetic lasso tool and lasso around your figure's face and shoulders. And now, remember, don't worry if it doesn't become a perfect selection because you can always use your quick selection tool to readjust your selection. So you remember you want to end where you began. Once you've done that, you should get your dancing ants. Now if you notice, I've cut off part of Audrey Hepburn's body here and some of her hair. So now I'm going to go in and use my quick selection tool, which is located just below your magnetic lasso. And we're going to choose Add to selection, so you want to choose the one with the plus sign up here in the top left corner. And we're going to add to our selection. Ah, you may want to get a bigger brush to do this with. And you're going to go through and add to your selection. Get rid of that little bit. Add that. And add that. I'm going to undo that and let me go back here and edit this little bit here. Okay, so once you are satisfied with the selection you've made, uh, we're going to open our paths palette. So to do that, you want to go to the window drop down menu and make sure paths is checked off. <clears throat> so if it's not checked off, make sure it's checked. If it is checked off, leave it checked. Uh, and with our ants dancing, you want to make sure that all of this is still going on over here. You're going to choose this button right here. It's the little circle with the little squares attached to it. This is your make your path, make a path from a selection button. So click that once and you should see a work path show up over here in your paths palette. What you're going to do is double click that work path and click OK and it's going to save that path. Notice our ants now become a solid line and it's going to stay there. So now do a command S to save and we're going to use <clears throat> the path selection tool to select that path and you can still go in and readjust it. So you can go in and then use your direct selection tool to come in here and click individual points and move those points. So I'm just using my direct selection tool to move points in and refine my line, just make it real pretty. For the most part, I don't have to do too much. Go back out here, tweak my line a little bit. All right, so that's good enough. Okay, so once you've made the path, saved your work path, and then tweaked your line a little bit. Uh, do another Command S to save. And now we're going to add another layer that has color in it. So we're going to go down to the bottom of our layers palette, choose the new layer button. So you're going to create a new layer. It's going to be a blank layer. And <clears throat> we're going to fill it with a color. So I'm going to fill mine with blue. And to fill the layer, you can just use your paint bucket tool over in your toolbar, click your paint bucket, come on over anywhere in that layer and click. And notice nothing really turned blue here. That's because my blue layer I just made is in the center of my three layers in my layers palette. Remember your layers function like a layer cake. One, two, three, they're all stacked on top of each other. Um, so we're going to go back to our dots layer. Make sure you're Dots layer is the one that's selected. We're going to reload our path we just made. So we want to get those ants back. So to do that, select your path, and then you're going to select the little dotted circle at the bottom of the path palette, which is the load path as a selection. And we're going to use this to get rid of our background. Now, if I hit backspace now, it's going to delete my figure's face, which we do not want to do. So we need to go up to the select drop-down menu choose inverse, it's going to select everything around my figure, and then we can hit delete on our keyboard. Once you've done that, 
do Command D to get rid of the ants. Then we're going to save our selection or save our document again. <clears throat> and then you can move on to tutorial number three.